Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm finally back. Um, obviously international break took over. It's nearly finished now, just uh, maybe one or two more days to go before the uh, Premier League and the Championship is back. Um, guys, you know what it is by this time this week, it's for Premier League predictions. I only, t I only do six games, I do get asked this question quite a lot. Um, and the reason I'll keep it down to six games is so I make it shorter and a shorter video and a bit less boring. Um, but if you would like to see me do all 10 games, please put it down in the comments below and then in the future I will do all 10 Premier League games for the week. But anyway guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game, um, m one of my family members picked up the hat was Watford vs United. Now Watford had the best start anyone could have asked for, United and less so. Uh, loses to Brighton, loses to Tottenham and something's not clicking up there. Um, Obviously, Marcus Bashford's with the England squad. But I'm going to go with a 3 2 Watford scoreline. Um, I think Watford will do United at Vicarage Road. And I think Watford could be possibly the slight underdog and a slight dark horse for this season, where they started anyway. Um, game 2 is Wolves versus Burnley. Um, now Wolves uh, getting that one-all draw with Manchester City, um, and then you got it with, and then with Burnley, yeah, they're down all under the table. Um, obviously, just recently did not tell Europe, um, but I'm gonna support Burnley in this game. Um, with I'm gonna go with a one-nil scoreline for Burnley. Uh, I just think they go on to start proving people and teams were wrong. But, you know, it could go Wolves way, but as I said, go 1-0 Burnley with that one. The next game is Newcastle versus Arsenal. Now, Arsenal have not had the best of starts anyway, but no, have Newcastle. Um, but I'm going to predict an Arsenal away win for this one, and I'm going to go with the 2 0 scoreline. And um, now, <laughs> you will not believe this. Um, my family member picked the South Coast Derby for this week, and it, it, obviously, if you, you can see behind me, you can tell what team I follow and where I come from. And we got up against Southampton at St. Mary's. Now, I know a lot of you uh, gonna obviously say but she's brightened down to win then that's uh, you know um, that's the only reason I'm choosing them to, for them to win I don't do this like that I actually do this from a neutral fan point of view so for this game anyway I'm gonna go over the two scoreline uh, Southampton beat Brighton down at the ice for the League Cup, but it went the first team, so I'm looking quite forward to seeing both first teams back there out uh, down at St Mary's. Um, the next game is Everton versus West Ham. Um, now West Ham, bottom of the league, still no point, going up against a very strong Everton side. So for that one, I'm going with a 1-0 Everton win. Um, I really can't see West Ham doing anything special up there. Uh, now the last game is Huddersfield versus Crystal Palace. Now, for you that don't know, Crystal Palace is Brighton's rivals. Um, obviously it's been going back quite a few years, late 70s. Um, Gone up against a pretty. It's hard to explain Huddersfield because I've got rid of so many good players. 
Um, but for that one, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick my neck out on the line for Huddersfield. I'm gonna go with one nil score line for Huddersfield. Anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.